going to be making candles. Now I know not everyone knows where this set is from, but it is by Graphi Graphics and it's called Craft Deco Panel Making Kit. So. We will need bags of candle wax, ignore the numbers because obviously, um, candle wicks, jars, glasses, anything along those lines, wicks, since, in other words rope, um, sharpening stick, so a knife, anything along those lines, paper sticks, I have no idea what that means, I will find out for you in a second. And of course, the instructions, which I will be directing for you today. So yeah. <sighs> Give me just a second, guy. Okay, I couldn't find the stick, but what I did forget was scissors and, if you like, some old bracelets and charms to decorate afterwards. So let's get started. Oh, here's the glass I will be using, and it has bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Best thing ever. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right, so this is the glass we're going to be using. I hope that's angled okay. I'm sorry if it's not. But. Oh, found the sticks. Okay, guys, found the sticks. See, found them. But we won't be needing any of these till later. So I'm going to get the instructions and see what we need to do. Okay, so select your chosen container and thread the wick through the wick string, basically, and put it through the bottom of the glass. So basically what's saying here is get one of these things. One of these things and get some stirring. Ugh. I have lots of it. Wiggly string, wiggly string. And basically, if I'm right in saying, you thread it through. If you have a thread and needle, a sewing needle, I highly suggest it. Not kidding. So basically, once you've got it on like that, pull it right down to the bottom of your string. So it's kind of like that. Place it so that it's perfectly positioned in the middle, unlike mine. Don't yet cut the string because just don't. And step number two. Okay, I have chosen my colours. I have chosen purple. So you'll need your scissors for this bit, or at least, unless you've got good teeth, but I recommend scissors. And you get the bag and you just lightly cut off the corner, obviously. It's quite obvious. And so you've got a small piece like this. Now this bit, I don't know if I can hold the camera for it, but... 
you just fill each piece a little bit Once you've done that, you can take whatever you're using for smoothening it out and well do that exactly. Smoothen it out. And then obviously just take your next colour and carry on back. Okay, I've decided that I'm going to use some other colours. Okay, so this is mine almost done. You can pat it down, add some little designs by pushing the stick down into the side to make the colours run and you can do whatever to make the designs. Um, it turns out quite nice. So, yeah. <coughs> next step. The next step is to simply take the wick. Actually, no, I'm going to add just a little bit more colour, but you don't have to. Wick wax and then just to give it a little more effect. And again, using your sticks or flattening tool, just adding some decoration. I'm sorry, just ignore any noises in the background. Right, so the next step is just to take your wick and cut it slightly above. Sugar. We've lost it. Um, nice. Um, um, what, Kelsey? Hang on, guys. Okay, guys, that's it basically done. Mine messed up. It now looks like unicorn puke. Not that I've ever seen that, just, just saying. That is basically a finished candle. Yay! And as I was saying, you can add anything extra to it. Like my, this is a bracelet, shell bracelet. You can pop that gently around the edges without breaking it. And that makes it look extra cute. I'll give you a proper view of that along with my mess. I call this one Unicorn Puke. You can have that sitting up anywhere and everywhere. But time for the spoilers. Safety instructions. Never have a burning candle. Unattended, keep like a burning candle away from out of reach of young children and pets, of course, because that would be bad. Keep them each candle at least 10 centimeters away from each other. Don't put the candles near anything flammable and don't hold them because the glass gets pretty hot. So I will come back in a second and you can see this lit. And this is our finished candle and my strenuous background. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and bye.